Welcome to my 4 minute challenger guide featuring Jarvan Iv, an exemplar of Demacia. So at this moment I actually think Jarvan is one of the best junglers in the game and here are some reasons why. His ganks are really really strong starting from level 2. Why are his ganks strong? Well he's got a gap closer and knock up and just his base damage is real high and you're just gonna burst someone down. Like his ganks are terrifying. That's why you see people in the higher ELO always will flash a Jarvan gank no matter what because people know if you get caught by the flag toss combo they're gonna die. Second to that, his initiate is really strong as he will knock up people and then he's gonna trap everyone in a pit. It may not bring crowd control but it does limit their movement and that's something to flash out of. And third of all, his knock up is really, really long and wide like a hot dog. Like the width is the champion size and the length is from Jarvan to the flag. So like for a basic skill that's an AoE knock up and which can be used every 6 seconds and can be reduced by cooldown reduction, I think that's kinda OP. Alright, so let's talk ganks in early game. Alright, so tip number one. Don't use your EQ combo until they're out of melee range. Remember, your EQ combo is also a gap closer, so you want to use it when there's a gap to fill. You don't want to use it like when they're already melee range, unless you know they're already gonna die. So I know sometimes it might be hard to hit the EQ combo, but what you gotta do to actually hit more is that don't think about hitting them with the flag, just try and hit them with the Q and the knockup. That's all you have to know. Just think of the flag as doing zero damage and using only for utility and you'll be able to dunk people in no time. That was what was going through my head when I was starting to use Jarvan and learn him. Alright, so once you attain your ult, Jarvan becomes menacing. So when you're ganking, what you want to do is do your knockout combo, wait until they get out of melee range or blow a flash or any escape, and then you want to ult. Remember, his ultimate is also a second form of gap closer. So, try and use it like a gap closer too. See right here, I'm, I'm fighting Kha'Zix and I'm like, I want to kill him. But I make the mistake of using my ultimate before he jumps out. So, don't make the same mistake that I did. Also note that Jarvan's EQ combo is interruptible. So if you can time out a uh, Malphite out or anything like that, then I'd be proud of you. As Jarvan has one of the most low cooldown transportation moves in the game, you can easily avoid wards if you know where they are by going over any kind of walls or blind spots that enemy might have. And if your team is really commutative of wards, this trick might help you. Alright, so let's talk about how to use Jarvan's ultimate and T-Fighting positioning. So offensively, Jarvan should be using his ultimate to lock someone down, or you could be using it to trap a bunch of people in his pit, and then your team could just siege them or like AoE wombo combo them, whoever's in the pit. Jarvan can also use his ultimate as a defensive mechanism. See, if the enemy team is playing really dive heavy, you can literally lock down the back line of the enemy, and then you could either flash out or EQ out of your own pit and then you want to assist your backline by killing those divers who went straight into your backline. So for about 3 seconds, which is about Jarvan's ultimate's terrain length, it will be a 2v5 for a little while. So yeah, that's how you would use it defensively. When deciding to use your ultimate to pick someone off on the enemy team, you should always decide to use it as using it on one enemy is fine as a flash's cooldown is longer than your ultimate's cooldown which is like 80 seconds. Just make sure to wait out the cooldown your ultimate before fighting again. Alright so the biggest tip of all when using Jarvan's ultimate is don't ever lock your AD carry in your own pit. That's just like signing a death wish to your own teammates. I mean yeah sure in this cup I actually just used it for the burst and he was already dead. But I mean say if you were in an actual team fight, yeah you'd probably be forcing your own teammate to, <laughs> to flash out of your own pit. And after you have initiated, your positioning should be kind of back away and then you wait for your EQ combo to come up and then you're going to try and knock up as many people as you want or you're going to try and pick off someone who's trying to run, siege on him and then pick him off. And that's the end of my guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment, leave your feedback in the comments. And you guys have a fine summer.